Hello there. Oh, hello. Can we go see Bergwall's boat? Sure, I just have to finish this crossword. The deadline is today, and they empty the mailbox in an hour. The first prize is a brand new outboard engine by Pelican. I see. But if you're in a hurry, you could always help me. Uh, sure, I can give you a hand. It is a very big crossword, and it's about books and writers and such, so I haven't really gotten very far. Jesus, you've only solved two words? I told you it was difficult. Very well. I'll get back to you when I've solved it. Just one word left. Well, that was very quick. These kinds of puzzles are my forte. Really. Hello there. Oh, hello. I should go. Oh, please. Here you go, all solved. Let's hope you win that outboard motor now. Fantastic, great job. Hello there. Oh, hello. Can we go see Bergwall's boat now? Sure, let's go. I'll sort some papers in the office while I'm here. Uh, give me a shout if you need anything. Jonathan's boat is the wooden one closest to the entrance. Just take your time. Thanks. By the way, I also arrange fishing trips if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, I'm ready to leave. All right, I'm done too. Let's go. If you're looking for a newer boat, I can give you a special price. Thank you. I'll consider it. Hello there. Oh, hello.
Do you know anyone called Max? I think Anita has a neighbor called Maximilian. You should ask her. Anita, uh, that's the lady serving coffee in the church hall. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure, mate. Excuse me. Hi there. Hello. Do you know someone called Max? Well, there's a certain Maximilian renting the house next to mine. Why? Huh. Uh, what can you tell me about him? He is a retired photographer. He comes here once in a while and takes pictures of the archipelago. I think he's left the island for the season, though. Any idea where I can find him? I happen to know that he's showing some of his pictures at a posh restaurant down by the Red Rock. It's impressive that someone so old, hardly any eyesight left, can still take such good photographs. He basically knows where to aim the camera without even seeing what's there, and the photos turn out wonderful. That's impressive. You might be able to catch him there, or at least admire his works. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, darling. You're welcome, honey. Hello there. Hello. Thank you. Do you know the photographer? I believe they're rented from a local picture agency. I heard the photographer is nearly blind. He just points his camera and shoots. Fascinating. Do you have a magnifying glass I could borrow? No, I certainly don't. And if you don't belong to the wedding company, I suggest you come back another night. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Hey, Jorgen. Yep. Good gravy, my boy. This is some serious stuff. I have these documents that give away the operation. And I've seen the weapons in the cargo room of the Weinver. And in the secret tunnels under Fardo. You want me to take this from here? I could make just the right calls. This means the end of the dirty arms deals. And it won't stop at Wyvern Exports. They're gonna drag Fosorb with them. It'll be the scoop of the year. You can have it. I'm not a journalist. I trust you can make most of the situation. I'm just wondering what's in this for you. Or Sarah. That's what I need to find out now. But just do your thing in the meantime. You betcha. No worries, buddy. Excuse me. Hi there. Hi, Ord. So Veronica was in the boat with Jonathan. Obviously, this makes her the prime suspect in my eyes. I wonder what her motive was. I'll have to investigate this thoroughly. Since you helped me with the case, I guess I owe you this piece of information. He has an overnight flat downtown. Let me check the address. East Harbor Street, 14. Flat number 71. Thank you. I'll contact you when I've made any progress with the case. Glad I could help. See you around, Ord. a wise decision stopping the ship and checking back here. I'm sorry, but I'm not in a position where I can let a burglar get away. It's nothing personal. Keep your hands where I can see them. Walk slowly to the soap. Stun gun. He's probably out for a little while. Take what you need. We need to bail. I'm pretty sure he's not alone. I... I... I think you just saved my life. We can get emotional and shit later now. Chop chop! I'll keep a guard outside. Hurry up with whatever you need to do here. Ram. If Patrick has company, they'll wait downstairs. We shouldn't be seen together. He never saw me. I can pretend I just came to visit him. Are you sure? Look, just do as I say. Patrick has seen you now, but he probably has no idea who you are. If he wakes up, I can stall him for some time, but you need to get the hell out of here. All right. Hey, I'm doing this as quickly as I can.
You there. Who, me? Fenrir? Who is that? That's not my disciple. She... she's a Vindar spy. As if I had not heard that before. That matters little at this point. We are moments away from summoning the mighty war demon. Perhaps our new friend wants to watch. It would be quite a spectacle. Actually, I have come to prevent you from performing the ritual. This disruption annoys me. Child, step back and do not bother us more. You stole my golden horn and threw me in a dungeon to perish. And now you want to start a terrible war. You mean this horn? This horn belongs to me. Behold its beauty. Dragonly, get him! He stole your mother's treasure and slew her! Get him! By the great snake, what? Who are you? I am Freya, commander of the dragons. I have come to stop the war. Spare me, O oh Freya! The people of Angsmark have suffered enough under your despotism. I banish you from this land. Go and spread your false doctrines elsewhere. If you ever set your foot here again, you will end up on the dragons' menu just like Fenrir. I will obey. Thank you for sparing my life. And the whole town is already different. It's like a spell has been lifted. I'm glad to hear. We will open the borders and start trading with other people again. And we will never sacrifice our young to hunt the stupid horn. You will be a legend here, Freya. Try to rest some more. I will take care of things. Yes, maybe I should rest some now. Then I should... Relax, Freya. You can stay here. This can be your home. I just happened to pop in. I thought Sarah was going to meet you. We must have missed each other. I had to ask a villager the way here. I guess everyone here knows where the Bergwall shack is. So Sarah should be here any minute then. And we can begin sorting stuff. I know you were in the boat with Jonathan. What do you mean? Look, I want to discuss this before Sarah arrives. I've seen photos of you in the boat with Jonathan Bergwall, the day he died. That's... that's impossible. Unlikely, but not impossible. Someone happened to take some photos of you. I've seen them myself. Why did you do it? You want to know why? <sighs> One day, Signai, Sarah's mother, had a moment of clarity. Relative clarity, that is. Then she decided to confide in me, like a bolt out of a blue sky. Or confess, maybe I should call it. All the things Jonathan had done when Sarah was a little girl, and how Signai had chosen to forget. Ironically, she eventually developed Alzheimer's and forgot for real. 
Like some kind of divine punishment, I don't know. But Jonathan, nobody punished him. And then Sarah told me about her pregnancy, and I got really afraid for her safety. Sarah's pregnant? Huh? What do you... Sorry, Veronica. I should come clean. I'm not Sarah's boyfriend. She hired me. <laughs> this is all so weird. Hired you to sort out the book and all that crap Jonathan pulled? Yes. To be honest, I don't really know why she thought of me being her boyfriend would be such a good idea. Oh, that part doesn't surprise me. She doesn't see the father anymore. It was a short and ugly affair. I think you were being around... Well, that gives her a sense of normalcy, I guess. Having a boyfriend around when you're pregnant. <laughs> I'm sorry you were deceived. No worries. But back to Jonathan. So Sarah had confided in me. But I knew that her memories of her father had been long suppressed. And I deemed it wise not to stir them up. Not under those circumstances. So I had to do it myself. I knew he would get away with it otherwise. So you took matters into your own hands. He said he had planned to tell Sarah about it. To confess his sins. But Sarah had already forgotten all of that. All that long since suppressed. She started a new life, got pregnant, and as long as she's not reminded of her father, she's all right. She just needed him to disappear without a trace and to let his memory fade away. The last thing she needed was him to bring it all back up. I understand. All his high and mighty preaching, all that holier than thou attitude. I swear half of it is just bad conscience. I have no idea how he planned to tell her, but I'd bet my right hand it would have been a fucking disaster. I know how he planned to do it. You do? Yeah. He wrote a book about it. I have it right here. Then you know just as well as I do what a psycho he was. Well, now it's in your hands, Ord. You can hand me into the police, you can tell Sarah the truth. You know where I stand in this. I'll take responsibility for what I've done. I'm sorry. I've already turned you in. You're probably wanted by the police now. I see. Well, you did what you had to. I'll be off. I won't be caught that easily. Don't try to stop me. Tell the police I threatened you with a gun and took off. Veronica, I regret turning you in now. Let me know if there's anything. I told you I have no idea where he is. Why don't we just hang around until he shows up then? And pick someone smarter next time to run your errands. This guy was dead easy to track down. What do you want from him? He hasn't done- Oh, come on. He's infiltrated Wyvern, stole my passport, then broke into my apartment and stole Father's book. He even snuck into the church and pretended- We don't have to get into that now. Do you think we can let someone like him be on the loose? Besides, if you had him steal Father's book for you, I recommend you burn it. Why should I burn it? So only you can access the inheritance? My silly sister. There was never a hidden inheritance. I can tell you what's in the book right now if you want. That won't be necessary. There he is. He won't get away this time. Ah, this is cute. Sarah hired him to find Father's book, and now that he's read it, he doesn't want her to know. Hate to break it to you like this, sister, but Father only wrote the book to- Hey! Ord, no! You fucking shot him! It's my nerves, I get all shaky. This is the police, drop your weapon. Oh, but for fuck. That one's trying to get away! Larson, get him!
found it. It is coming back. I... I... I am... Ithan! Vithar! I started to think you would never return! <laughs> Me? I <laughs> know, sir. You always make it. And what about you? You escaped the dragon? Piece of cake. I have been to your hometown. I have so much to tell you. About Angsmark and Mimir and Sameta and... and... <laughs> we have plenty of time to talk, my love. We'll buy a new boat and talk while the setting sun set our sails ablaze. And the silver of mackerel shoals crests the waves. And the fair wind brings tears to our eyes. <laughs> did you write this, Ord? How did you guess? And that wither, I suppose that's a younger you. Oh, we just happen to look alike, perhaps. I guess Jonathan's own ending sucked, right? Uh, you wouldn't like it. This is better. Oh, I bet. Keep reading, Sarah. You're ruining the atmosphere. And the full moon's marble face guides our way. and the Secretary of Defense is hard-pressed to explain how these weapons deals could be sanctioned. The journalist who exposed the covert operation, Jorgen Anderson, has received a lot of attention and is nominated for this year's grand prize of journalism. Viewers may recognize Anderson for, earlier this month, revealing that a mission church pastor in Gothenburg accepted large sums in return for letters of indulgence. We have not managed to reach Anderson for an interview. Hello? Hi, Ord. Hey there. How are we feeling today? Better. It's healing nicely. Just wanted to check if you're all set for tomorrow. I sure am. I just made sure someone can look after Herbert. Herbert? Uh, my weeping thing. Oh, I'm sure he'll be all right. Speaking of which, I'll probably need to replace my plants once we get back to Stockholm. So I'll see you at the train station tomorrow morning then? 
absolutely. Thank you. 